Android devices let you mirror your screen with an HDMI cable. Others use proprietary solutions like Samsung's AllShare Cast. And then you've got the Chromecast, which kind of lets you mirror, but is really just designed to work with select apps. It's the same Android fragmentation story you've always heard. So here's where a new standard called Miracast comes in. It lets you mirror your Android 4.2 device or later to your TV. It's 1080p, 5.1 surround sound, and it's wireless. But if it was really that simple, you'd probably already be using it. So here's how it works. To get your screen mirroring, you'll need a Miracast compatible receiver, which can either be your TV or a dongle you connect to it. Check out the Wi-Fi Alliance website for the complete list of compatible devices. My TV isn't compatible, so I'm using Netgear's Push to TV. It's 60 bucks, so it is a little pricey for a device that does only one thing, but that's an option if you want to get mirroring. With that connected, mirroring is simple. Just head to settings, display, then wireless mirroring on your Android device and switch it on. When it scans, you should see your receiver pop up. Now, what's great about Miracast is that unlike AirPlay, it doesn't require your local Wi-Fi connection. Instead, the receiver creates its own ad hoc network for your Android device. So tap the receiver name, wait for it to connect, and there's the device on the big screen. That means everything, including videos, photos, web pages, and apps will show up on the TV with audio. Now, if you know you'll be mirroring for a while, you'll probably want to hook up your device to its charger because the screen has to stay awake while it's mirroring. If the tablet gets locked, the TV will black out. It's not ideal for watching movies, but if you bring the brightness down, it'll save you battery and it won't dim the TV. This setup is just one way to take advantage of Miracast. Keep an eye out for more Miracast-enabled TVs coming to the market. If you have any questions, hit me up on Twitter and check out howto.cnet.com for all the ins and outs of this technology. For CNET.com, I'm Sharon Vaknin.